Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Turk, since I have you before me, last time we talked, we talked about the radioactive contamination that the federal government had delivered to the St. Louis and St. Charles regions of my state. And in particular, we talked about Jana Elementary School in the greater St. Louis region, which was then and is now currently closed because of nuclear contamination that private tests found were in the school. Now, when we visited last, this was in February, you told me that you were having conversations about it. I'm just looking at the transcript here. You said, I asked you about the, the letter from the Hazelwood School District to the Department of Energy requesting additional testing. You said, I've seen their letter, we've talked about it. You said, we're having conversations, including with the Army Corps. And you said, again, we're having conversations with the Army Corps. When I asked you what you're gonna do, you said, I'll talk to the team. So, that's been multiple months ago. Why don't you give me an update? What is the Department of Energy doing? Yeah, happy to do so, and we have a response letter to your most recent letter. I've read uh, that it. It should be coming uh, today or tomorrow that I was just I think reviewing. you sent one yesterday. Well, good, there's maybe another, there's more. There's another one as well. There's two, good. and there's a second one that should be coming today or tomorrow that I spent some time with the team reviewing and making sure we were trying to be as responsive as we possibly could on that front. Uh, the Secretary and myself, the head of our legacy management team, Carmelo, um, is working with the Army Corps and others uh, on this front. And uh, on the testing side in particular, uh, I've pushed the team several times. I said, what can we do? Is there something we can do from the Department of Energy side? And what we can do is work with the Army Corps. And we're happy to be very active with the Army Corps and make sure that they're doing under their authority. FUSRAP gave the authority for these cleanup sites to the Army Corps. We're playing more of a supporting role, but we're happy to not only play that supporting role, but to try to push and work with our interagency partners uh, to be responsive, certainly to listen to the concerns that you've expressed, the concerns of the community. Uh, it's a horrific situation. Uh, I'm a parent, I've got three kids. If this was happening to my school, I would be certainly nervous. If I was a school a few miles away, I'd be nervous as well. So there's an awful lot that we need to do, not just on the science, uh, but also on the human element as well. And thank you for all your focus on this uh, very important issue. Well, when you say that you're happy to, to do it, to do X, Y, Z, to work with the Army Corps, are you doing it? Are, are, are you pushing so we them are, to do the additional testing we and are having We are having active conversations with the Army Corps. Well, that's what you said it's in February. Them, well, it's for them because it's under FUSRAP for them to make the decisions about where they think it's appropriate to do additional testing. Uh, we've had active conversations. Uh, we are having conversations about what more they are doing right now, and they are doing more right now. I will let them talk to you about uh, other testing. That oh, they I'm are aware doing. of what they're doing. Listen, let, let, let me tell you what, what the situation is. Just a few days ago, the Army Corps reported that they've remo removed 301 truckloads, 301 truckloads of radioactive dirt from the bank of the creek that's right near the elementary school. Now, this comes after they said for months that there was no contamination anywhere near the elementary school. That's what they said to the community, that's what they said to the parents, that's what they said to the school district. And they said they wouldn't do any more testing. That was your responsibility to do the additional testing. You said, no, it's not, it's, it's their responsibility. So currently nobody's doing anything more additionally. And this isn't just a few months, Mr. Turk. This is 70 years, since 1949, 1949, there has been contamination, radioactive contamination in the water, in the soil, all over the St. Louis region. That's a heck of a long time. And for 70 years, what we now know, we've discovered even since you and I talked last, because of the efforts of St. Louis residents who got FOIA materials that show that the federal government knew from the 50s and 60s forward that there was significant radioactive contamination and they did nothing about it and they systematically misled and lied to the residents of St. Louis and St. Charles region and said, no, it's, it's actually, it's okay, play in the creek, it's fine, there's nothing we can do here. So it's just the same old story over and over. So I don't want to hear about conversations, I want to hear about action. I want that school reopened. Now tell me about the Weldon Spring site, which is another of these nuclear contamination sites. You have total ownership of that. When is it gonna be fully remediated? So uh, the response that we've got for you lays out the history, and we've looked I back. know the history. Tell me when it's and gonna be remediated. In our archives, of course, the Department of Energy was created in the 70s, but we've got precursor uh, agencies that were responsible for uh, the kinds of uh, time periods you're talking about, and we lay that history out just from our records, but happy to go into any level of detail in terms of what the government did or didn't do at 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, at least based on, uh, based on our 
uh, record along those lines. Uh, we're very focused on the creek. I've got a map here right in front of me uh, looking at all the schools and others in the vicinity of the watershed in the creek area and have asked our legacy management team, which is the responsible but when, part. But when is, when is the Weldon Spring site, which is squarely under your jurisdiction, when's it going to be remediated? So we'll have to get back to you on that. I don't oh, have the exact sake. date on that. Did you not think I'd ask that today? I mean, I've written it to you. I've written to you about it multiple we're, times. I we're, mean, we're happy, Senator, whether in a hearing or, frankly, in yeah, but here, the other me, setting, this is how this goes. You, you were before now. me in February, and I, you said, I'll have a bunch of conversations. I'll get back to you. It's September. Now you're saying, I'll have a bunch of conversations. I'll get back to you. Are we going to be having this conversation again in six months or nine months? So I can get you that information today. I just don't have it right good. in front of me. Today would be, would be good. i to get it back to you today. Good. I'll, I'll hold you to that. And I'm glad we're in an open forum here. So um, let's get that done. And let's get a date fixed on when the remediation of Weldon Spring. And for those who are wondering, well, he was talking about an elementary school a second ago. Now he's this other site. Yeah, that's because there are multiple sites in the St. Louis and St. Charles regions affecting thousands of people over 70 years who have been exposed to this contamination and lied to about it. So yeah, I'm not happy about it. Last question for you. Um, I recently submitted an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act that would provide compensation to the victims of this nuclear contamination. I am delighted to say it passed the Senate, and as I look across the dais here, just about every person on, on that side of the dais over there voted for it. I, I thank each of you. Thank you for it. Senator Lujan and I worked together on this. Uh, the President, President Biden, has said that he thinks it is vitally important to get these folks compensated for what has happened to them. Do you agree with that? Do you support our legislation to compensate the victims in St. Louis and elsewhere of nuclear contamination and radioactive waste? So certainly support the intent behind the legislation. It's the Department of Justice that's the relevant agency here, so I can't speak for them or speak for the administration as a whole. On you won't agree with the president? What's that? You won't agree with the president? I will always agree with the president. Okay. Well, let me ask you again. Do, do, you, do you support the legislation Senator, can we hold to, to compensate the victims of this nuclear contamination, radioactive waste? Again, I'll leave, the, leave it to the president to speak about administration policy on this. I've not seen what he said. Senator, if you want to follow up with a second, with a second round, we'll let, let everybody get their first round in. We'll come back, okay? Thank you, Mr. Thank you.